Dear colleagues, this cataract appears like a posterior polar cataract through the microscope. But on slit lamp examination, I found that the opacity is thin and there was no onion hole pattern. This kind of cataract is usually not a posterior polar cataract. Most of the time it is posterior subcapsular cataract. I have taken up this case for surgery and let us see the surgical steps. By this time all the incisions have been made, viscoelastic substance has been injected into the anterior chamber. Now capsular axis is being done with a capsule holding forceps. This is a large rexis. In soft cataracts, I aim for a large rexis so that I can tilt the nucleus. In this case, I was almost sure that there is the this is posterior subcapsular cataract, so I have done hydro dissection and hydro delineation, but I haven't rotated the nucleus. Now I am going into the anterior chamber. The tip of the phaco probe is being introduced. I remove the peripheral anterior lens fibers. Now I hold and tilt the nucleus like this. I allow the epinuclear buffer to support the posterior capsule. Even if there is a PC rent by the hydrodissection, it will be protected by this epinuclear shell and there will be no nucleus drop. So, the nucleus has been removed now the epinucleus is being removed. The epinucleus that is sub-incisional is not giving in easily. So, I have to tease it a lot and ultimately it gives in. I was in the tip, bevel of the tip was down. Now, it is gradually up and thus the nucleus and epinucleus is managed. Now, I see the posterior capsule is intact and it is healthy. So, my assumption was right. My assumption that this is a posterior subcapsular cataract. This is not a posterior polar cataract. This assumption was right. Now, the cortical matter is being cleaned out with the help of a Simcoe cannula. Now, in this case, I have selected a hydrophilic acrylic intraocular lens and the lens is being implanted under irrigation. Here it is. The irrigation keeps the anterior chamber formed and the irrigating probe supports the optic and it pushes the haptics into the capsular bags. Now, since there is no viscoelastic substance, lot of time is saved. I spend about two minutes in cleaning the viscoelastic substance. So, that time is saved. And now, I am hydrating the side ports so that these side ports become waterproof wounds. That's it. And now, this is the final wash under higher magnification. That's it. Hope this video will help you in 
developing your surgical skills thank you very much for your attention the integrity of the wound is checked always before concluding the case